All right, scholars, welcome. My name is Mr. Briars. Today we're going to talk a little bit about rational and irrational numbers. So let's just dive in. Uh, functionally, you start with some definitions. Rational numbers. This is really simple, and we're going to keep it simple in this class. Rational numbers. Any number that can be written as a fraction. Alright, that's the entirety of the definition. Any number that can be written as a fraction. Uh, irrational numbers. Uh, well, it's any number that's not rational. So, any number that, here's the difference, cannot be written as a fraction. Now, functionally, what does this mean? Well, these are the two broadest categories of numbers. Any number can be put into one of these two categories. So rational numbers comprise most numbers. Most numbers can be written as a fraction. Irrational numbers are the few that cannot. Let's go through, through some examples. Okay, So, rational numbers. Let's see here, let's take a look. Let's start, start at the beginning here. Well, what's the beginning? I'm going to call it zero. Is zero a rational number? Well, I just put it in the rational column. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. So, how are we going to write zero as a fraction? Well, zero divided by anything is still, what, zero? So, that can be zero divided by one. That's going to be zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. So, if it's zero divided by a thousand, Yep, that's still zero. Um, similarly, let's check out another rational number. We got one. Can anything be written? Can one be written as a fraction? Yeah, of course. So anything divided by itself is one. So that can be three divided by three. That can be five divided by five. That can be anything. If it's a banana, it can be a banana. Banana divided by banana is still one banana. Actually, the units are gone. It's just one. So, um, now, this is where things start to branch off and get a little more complicated. Okay? So, let's take a look at 0 0.5. This is, and I said a little more complicated. It's not much. 0 0.5, it's a decimal. Well, decimals are just another way to write a fraction. 0 0.5 is the same thing as 1 half. Okay. Additionally, we got things like this. 1 third. 1 third can, of course, be written as a fraction because we just did it. But when you simplify it, not simplify it, but if you actually write out the digits, it's going to be 0 0.3 repeating. And that means it never ends. And therein lies the biggest difference between rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers either terminate, they end, like 0 0.5, or they go on forever, but it's a pattern. They repeat. One third does go on forever, but it's three over and over again. Okay, So those things have a pattern. They can be written as fractions. They are rational. When you start talking about irrational numbers, our most famous example is pi. Pi, if we go to write it out, it's 3.1415, and then pull up your favorite weird math site and keep going forever. Um, so it's a dot, dot, dot into infinity there. So we don't, we, we can't actually write the entirety of pi as a fraction. Uh, you know, a fun math lesson would be what is pi? And that relationship is a fraction. It's the, it's the ratio between the circumference and the diameter. But functionally, when you try to write it out, it is just something that never ends. Um, that's the best example of an irrational number. We got another type of irrational number. We got radical 2. Radical 2, when you type it into a calculator, what's it going to be? 
uh, off the top of my head, it's 1.7, and then I think it's like 2.3, 1.723, something like that. I don't know. It keeps going, though. So, radical 2 equals 1.7, and then it keeps going and going, okay? Now, that is non-terminating. It does not terminate. All right, what about this? Well, this guy, 0 0.5, does terminate. So instead of our fraction definition, what, what, what happens if we think about it in terms of numbers that either terminate or don't? Well, it works for most cases. One point, th these numbers do not terminate, they just keep going. But additionally, this guy over here, 0 0.3333333, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, that is one third, and it doesn't terminate either. Okay. So if it cannot be written as a fraction and does not terminate, definitely irrational. But we got to think here. Not every irrational number, not every square root is an irrational number. Uh, let's think about the square root of nine. That's basically asking the question, what times itself equals nine? Well, that's going to be 3 times 3, the square root of 9 is just going to be 3. So while we might have originally thought that it belonged over here, in fact, it should be over here in this column. It should be a rational number. All right, so I think that pretty much sums up what are rational and irrational numbers. Any questions? Please hit me up.